What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Pat. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over why press releases are important in your local SEO strategies, right? Now, press releases have many benefits. Some off the top is just you're gonna get referral traffic, you're gonna get a lot of don't follow backlinks, and then lastly, it's going to help your brand visibility online. Now, a press release is basically just an article that gets written and then syndicated to a bunch of online media websites if they decide to publish your article then you can possibly receive traffic from that website or even a backlink right now most of the time these backlinks will be no follow but that shouldn't stop you from still using a press release as a off-page strategy right simply because it's very natural for you to start getting these no follow backlinks especially when they're coming from reputable news websites this is also going to help your SEO indirectly because you might even get referral traffic from some of those websites, right? And Google would love to see your website getting referral traffic from other platforms online, social media, and other websites. Now you can use press releases for local SEO, national SEO, affiliate SEO, really any type of SEO that you're doing, not just local. I love to use these press releases in order to help my clients rank higher in the local area, right? Now there's certain criteria you need include in the actual press release to optimize it for local SEO. It's not just gonna be your standard press release. You do wanna make sure you're including the proper title, proper keyword anchor, and you wanna make sure you can embed your Google My Business. Now basically I came up here, as you can see with a quick sketch of how you should actually structure your press release so that you can get the best out of your press release for local SEO. Now, basically when it comes to actually making the press release, usually you're going to hire somebody um, and you can find many of these services online. Just go to Google and type in, you know, press release service or go to your favorite um, SEO service provider and you can look it up there. But basically, if you have someone write this for you, you wanna make sure you include these key things for local SEO. First of all, in the title, you wanna make sure you have one your brand name to your keyword or service and then you also want to make sure you include the location and don't worry i'm going to show you an example of this in just a little bit but basically what this is going to do is one it's going to help your actual brand name especially if you're just getting established online on google right um, and then the keyword of course you want to make sure that google knows what services you provide or you know products and this is also gonna help in terms of your SEO because not only are you going to get listed on, you know, possibly a hundred different websites, but each of those websites is gonna have an article that clearly has your name and then the keyword, you know, service or product that you provide, right? And then lastly, you wanna make sure you have your location in the actual title, right? I can't express how many times I see people do this wrong. They don't include the location, especially if you're trying to target local SEO, right? Wherever city you want to target, you should have the city in the actual title of the press release. Then you're going to have the actual body, right? The actual content of the press release. Usually it's around 500 words, but basically in the actual body is where you want to include your backlink, right? You want to make it either a partial or exact match simply because this press release will get listed on many different websites. And even though it's a no follow backlink, Google still crawls these links. Although they say they don't have any power, I think they still give Google a, a clue or a hint of what your website is trying to target, right? Or whatever service or product, you know, you are using as the anchor text, it's still gonna give Google a clue once they crawl that, that backlink on what your website is about. So it's very important that you do make sure your anchor has a partial or keyword. And basically this just means if you're a moving company, you know, you want to make sure that the backlink has the anchor text moving company, Los Angeles, for an example, or, you know, plumbing services in Houston. Right. And this is just going to help your local SEO because that will give you a backlink on many different websites once it gets distributed. And then you have the Google Maps. So this is basically, you wanna make sure you can embed your Google Map on the actual press release. Many providers can do this service for you. So make sure whenever they are writing up your press release 
tell them if they can include your uh, Google My Business map and then just give them the link so that they can go ahead and embed it on the actual press release. Now your Google map is going to get embedded on so many different websites, which is also going to be a strong signal to Google, letting them know what location you're actually targeting. And if you have the city in the title, you can see how all these things are adding up and going to send very strong signals to Google in what area your business is actually located in, right? These can get picked up by very reputable websites. And this is why it's such a strong strategy for your off page SEO. And then lastly, you just want to make sure you have your social uh, media profile. If you can give them your Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, whatever the case may be, but make sure you have all your entities on the actual press release and all these signals is going to help out your local SEO campaign. I can guarantee it. And you can release a press release, you know, on a monthly basis. Some people even do it twice a month. Um, but basically you can create a press release about anything, a new service, a new product. If you just launched a website, if you're servicing a new location, but these are the key things you want to make sure you include within your actual press release. So let me actually show you what this actually will look. So basically I'm going to go ahead and show you a client that we recently did. So let me go ahead and search for boutique moving services. And basically they have a relatively new domain and pretty much their SEO were starting from scratch, right? So of course, one of the first things I like to do is release a press release and you can see that they have a press release here from ktvn.com and it's ranking very highly for their brand and name on the first page, right? So if you want to rank for your actual brand name, sometimes it can take a little bit of time to get established, especially if you're brand new. So doing a press release can be a great idea to get your brand name at the top of the first page. And these can, these rank pretty instantly guys. Like I'm talking about the next couple of days that you release the press release, you'll see these on the first page. So if we click on this, I can kind of show you the different uh strategies that we went through right all right guys like i went over earlier you want to make sure you have one your brand name which for us is boutique moving services then you want to have you know keyword you know whatever service or product you're offering right we're a moving company we offer moving services and then you also want to have the location so for us bay area of california this is the location that we're targeting this is a service that we're providing, right? So one of our keywords is Bay Area Moving Services. So you can see this is included in the actual title. And then we have our actual brand and name in the title of the press release. So all these are gonna give signals to Google in regards of your brand name, what service you provide and where you're located in. We also have our logo embedded on the press release and you can see for the backlink, I went ahead and did a just a domain name as our actual anchor text simply because whenever it's a brand new domain i usually want to make sure that we're making it look as natural as possible so for this one we just went ahead and did the naked url but in the next one it's going to be more keyword targeted so bay area movers or bay area moving company would be something we'd want to use as an anchor text in our next press release right so let's scroll down here and then you can see we have our actual Google My Business map embedded here. We have the URL up here and then the actual map. So basically like I covered guys, this is incredibly powerful because this is going to get distributed to hundreds of websites and depending on how many websites pick it up, the more you're going to have embedded, the more embeds you're going to have, which is going to send strong signals to Google where you're actually located. And then we have more contact information here, um, which you can also add for your press releases, right? And if you can, we didn't get our social medias on here, but if you can, make sure you get your social medias on here as well, simply because it's going to build that entity relationship with Google, right? They're going to start understanding what services and locations you're targeting. So this is basically what you wanna do for a press release, guys, and how you can use it for local SEO. So if you want to go ahead and take a look at this, just go to Google and search for boutique moving services and you're going to see it here on the first page, guys. And I've done this with 
many other clients, right? So I've done this for myself as well. So if I do Blue Dragon Digital, I did this uh, press release a while ago, but I still think it ranks on the first page. So let's see. So you can see ABN Newswire actually picked this up from August 17th, 2020 and, you know, Dallas SEO agency, right? So this is basically what you can do, guys. Use the exact tactics that I shared with you earlier and you're going to get great results. All right, guys, there you have it. How you can utilize press releases in your local SEO campaign. If you got some value out of it, leave me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you haven't, I make digital marketing and SEO related videos and tutorials and go ahead and check out my TikTok, guys. I just made it. I post quick SEO tips that are very actionable for you guys. So if you do have TikTok, go over there and follow your boy again, Pat Kuros SEO. See you guys in the next one. Peace.